channel two of today's biggest pop stars, Britney and Kesha. Which one, <laughs> which one was more fun? Kesha, because it was on my birthday. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And also, what is Kesha vomit made of? <laughs> what was it? It was like um, milkshake material, Ooh. I guess. It, but it didn't taste like milkshake. It tasted like chalk, kind of. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How I know that? I don't yeah. know. Did, was that at all, okay, this, is, this might seem gross to everyone else, but when I see scenes like that in TV, I'm always like, how is that person not gagging themselves? Like, was that gross to film? No, it was, I mean, no. it was my birthday, so I was like excited, because I was like, oh my God, my birthday, I'm getting to vomit, weird enough. <laughs> and I'm not drinking, I wasn't even, you know. Yeah. But she got to do it too, we were both like. Right. I just. <laughs> we were uh, what? <laughs> Speaking of that sort of, Britney Spears, uh, um, uh, how was she, you met her, you actually got to meet her, which uh, you know, very few of us have been able to do. Um, what was that like? For myself? Yeah. Um, I had met her previously before I auditioned for her. Oh. I got to dress up as her in a dance submission. And so I was like completely dressed up in her, like her whole outfit, and I was singing as Britney Spears for a choreographer. And so afterwards she was like, you were like, perfect for me, and then warp to, I don't know, three years later, and then I'm doing exactly the same thing, and wow. <laughs> in front of, she came in and watched. So. Did she remember that? Did she I don't think video? She, I don't think she put two and two together. Okay. <laughs> yes, hands up, for it. yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm nothing like my character. That's hard to believe. <laughs> real smart, real smart. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, Darren, um, okay, so after, after Silly Love Songs, have you been able to walk into a gap? <laughs> I, I haven't tried, but not, now I guess I have to as soon as I can, we'll yeah. see. I mean, I, 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 they'd either be really excited or really terrified. I don't know which one it would be, like, don't sing here, you'll get everybody fired. I know, right? yeah. <laughs> Was that, was that, that was, that production looked incredibly elaborate. Was that, uh, was that a long day of filming? That was, was uh, yeah, because I recorded that song in New York and a lot of the songs, if not all the songs except for one, I recorded in New York. So I was told at like noon on one day that I had to go to New York, I left in a number of hours, did the song in New York, then flew back in the middle of the night and basically took the car from the airport to the Gap and did the song that I recorded less than 24 hours prior in New York City in LA in a gap I'd never seen before and a number that we had hardly choreographed. So it was awesome. I mean, from chaos, you know, breeds a lot of creative energy. So it was, it was fun. We had a was lot that? of fun with the mannequins. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Life is always fun when there's mannequins. <laughs> Chris Colfer, explain. Chris, explain what you're- Oh, mannequins, they're, they're great because they don't talk back. So you can put them all and, 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 wow. and then pose with them and-, and The dark um, side of bleeding. Yeah, <laughs> um, Dante, you know, as a, from a producing perspective, something like that, because that was shot in an actual gap, right? Yes, at the, grove. At the grove. Which is not a, you know- it's not a, Ooh, the yes. grove. It's the grove. Oh, the grove. Awesome. Um, uh, what's the, how, how difficult is that to, because you guys, you know, you shoot these numbers that are, you know, kind of, you know, big screen level numbers in, you know, very short periods of time. How difficult is kind of organizing a shoot like that, like something at a public place like The Gap? Well, uh, that was a challenge because we'd never shot in a location like that before. We actually went to them and said that, that Ryan, Brad, and Ian want to shoot a sequence in your store. They were a little taken aback but obviously excited about it. And, uh, and we had to figure it out on the day like we always do. And, you know, I mean, shooting in this theater, we had to shoot five musical numbers on this stage in one day. And you, 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 just, you just figure it out. And the, the, the good news is no one had ever done it before. So we're not messing up in any way. <laughs>